So next season, we're going to see the reintroduction of pit stops in Formula E. We haven't seen this since the Gen 1 cars. Now, some controversy has arisen with the introduction of the pit stops again. Now, obviously, they're going to be coming in to do rapid charging. That's the whole point of it. They come in, take on a fresh set of energy, and they can then go out and actually get a bit more performance out on the track. As it currently stands, we were expecting this to be a select handful of races next season. However, looking at the FIA, it now looks like it may potentially be at every race. Now, the concern from the strategist is by coming in for the rapid recharge, you've got the potential of being lapped or put completely out of sequence. I did a video on Formula E penalties, for example, and in that video, I looked at Portland as an example for a drive through penalty. I'd calculated doing the FIA regulated speed through the pit lane would ultimately take 29 seconds to get from one end to the other. So let's assume that you're going to stop for 15 to 30 seconds for a recharge. That means potentially your entire time in the pit would be around the minute mark. And the average lap time last season round Portland was 1 minute 11 to sort of 1 minute 15. So you can see where the concern from some teams has come in, in the fact that you would potentially be lapped. Now, I don't think this is going to be a bigger problem as some people are making out, because ultimately every car has got to come in to recharge. We don't know if there's going to be a minimum charge time that I'll have to take on. If there isn't, then this will really open the field up again a little bit, because this allows the strategists to effectively manage how much power they take on board to see how long they can race for. So McLaren and Porsche, for example, have been quite vocal on the fact that actually they think this is a good idea and it's really going to work well. To my mind, this is no different to the attack mode activation in the fact some drivers will go early and try and head off the pack. Others will hang back and see if they can eat some more performance out before going for it and going for a late burst. I don't think it's going to be any different in that sense. They will just manage how they come in and out of the pits accordingly. Now, there have been a few teams that have expressed their concern and they're not happy about it. Ultimately, the whole idea of this process is to break the cars up. Getting away from this peloton style worth of racing, they want to try and break it up and make it like something you would more traditionally see, say, at Formula One or IndyCar, where you've got cars spread out over a larger area, having their own little individual battles, which, let's be honest, is quite interesting to watch sometimes. So I can understand teams' concerns that you could and will be lapped, but ultimately with everyone having to come in and go back out again, I really don't perceive it being a bigger problem as some people predict. The biggest problem you're gonna have is if you are lapped or you come out and get stuck behind a car that you can't then pass. And that happens in every form of motor racing where pit stops are a factor. Then ultimately the rapid charging could aid the development of cars the likes of you and I will end up purchasing and can rapid recharge at a very quick rate and very safely. In my mind, if they can see it being a hindrance, they just have to become better strategists at the sport and play the system against itself. Let's be honest, that's what happens in every other motorsport out there. Either way, it's coming, and to be fair, I think it's going to be a really interesting and exciting spectacle to see, and I can't wait.